holiday haul week, but this holiday season, it is especially important to us at City Line to give back. So all week, we're celebrating incredible people who themselves give back to the community. Stats show that domestic abuse spikes during the holidays. Add to that pandemic lockdown measures, and it is hard to get help. Stats also show that Indigenous children are often born into communities that lack access to education, health care, or a safe household. And this makes them particularly vulnerable and has contributed to the critical situation of missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls in Canada. Human trafficking survivor Jessica Desmond Solomon joins us now to tell her story and how she now gives back to other women. And Jessica, before you begin, I'd like to respectfully give you the opportunity to introduce yourself in your Indigenous name. Hi, thank you for having me here today. My name is Jessica. My Indigenous name is Earthwoman, Akikwe. I'm from Kitigan CB First Nation, and I'm Ojibwe, and I'm 31 years old. Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, we are so grateful uh, that you're going to talk about your story of survival because it is a heavy one. And I know you've spoken many times in front of hundreds of people about it with strength and emotion. Can you tell us your story? So I met this girl in jail and she gave me her and this guy's number and advised me when I got out of jail and if I came to Toronto, I'd be taken care of. And this guy would really like me. Anyways, I ended up in Toronto with this guy, and he bought me everything. Nails, clothes, makeup, everything. He got me a place, etc. Then one day, he just dropped me off at the strip club and started hitting me when I made no money. I fell in love with my predator, and I couldn't get away, and I kept going back to him. I couldn't understand what I was going through, and I thought he loved me. The last time I saw him, he wanted me to run away with him out west, so I wouldn't go with him. So he severed my Achilles tendon completely, and he got caught and convicted for, with uh, 13 charges. I can't even imagine the amount of trauma that stays with you after being in a situation like that. And I understand you were able to seek some help from a shelter in Toronto, the Redwood. So what was your experience there and how important was the Redwood in your journey? So the Redwood filled in the gaps where victim services and social services failed me. They should have done better. Redwood helped me with court support, counseling, career motivation through Women on the Move program, which is great. Um, they paid my rent. They welcomed my children home when they were born with baby and mom bundles. I got to meet many other women out there like me that want to rise. They were there for me any time of the day. I knew I could trust Redwood with anything I told them. And without their help, I could have fallen through the system's gaps, which girls slip through very easily. And often we see on sad headlines on the news, um, missing or murdered. I am here today because Redwood believed in me and they still do believe in me. If the whole city could be like Redwood, the city would be a better place. It takes a passionate person to help people like me and that's how they help me out. You speak about this uh, again and again because you are trying to help other women in the same situation and you show so much strength and I want to know and everyone wants to know where do you get that strength from? So my strength comes from my grandmothers, my grandfathers, my ancestors, the Anishinaabek culture, my seven grandfather teachings, and the Ten Commandments of the Great Spirit. The power of the ancestors that you have to tap into. Uh, it is always there for us, so it's an incredible resource. Now, many people, I think, that would have gone through the same things you went through would not have made it to the other side. So I'd love to know what was it that helped you make that switch to a better life? So after I got hurt and attacked, beaten, branded, bought and sold, I didn't want to get hurt anymore and I didn't want this guy hurting any more women. I didn't want to be responsible if he hurt any more women. I thought I'd be considered a predator it, too if I continued to let him get away with it. 
I said to myself one day, this is not our way of life. This is not living or love. I'm wasting the best years of my life right now when I could be doing better. I've never seen anything good ever come out from being trafficked or in the game, they call it, right? There are women right now watching this segment and that threat is imminent. So you have spent your life since your situation, since you survived and escaped helping other women, how do you help other women in that situation? I tell my story all over the country. I speak to, I speak with those who reach out, out to me and I guide them with services and people to reach out to that can help them better than I can. I lend an ear because I understand what they're going through and I tell my story to service providers who can understand them better also. Jessica, we know you give back to so many. We hear you and I want you to know that we see you and we want to give back to you. Winston, are you still there? I am, Tracy. Jessica, with my friend Winston, we are giving you all of this. Everything that was in Winston's gift guide. And there's more, right, Winston? Well, earlier, Tracy, I talked about Rogers Pro on the go. Well, we are going to be sending you even more thanks to our friends at Rogers. You're going to be getting a one-year unlimited free Rogers Infinite Unlimited data plan. That means you're not going to have to worry about data overages. You can surf. You can stream all you like. And uh, you're also going to have access to the brand new Rogers 5G network, which I absolutely love. You're also going to get the Google Pixel 5. I talked a little bit about that earlier. The OtterBox Alpha Glass Screen Protector, the Defender phone case, as well as a Sonos One smart speaker. You've got an Indigo gift card, $100. Also another $100 Canadian Tire card, as well as a $75 Cara gift card and a dining card. I absolutely love Swiss Chalet, so that's going to be a nice little treat for you. Jessica, thank you for everything you have done. We're going to make sure all of this gets to you. What do you think? I am so surprised. Like, I've never gotten anything like that in my life. I always had to hustle for it. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. <laughs> Good. We want to give you a break from the hustle because you're helping so many women out there. Thank you for inspiring all of us. Uh, you are such a warrior.